Hi, so I'm John Bulger. I'm a consultant ophthalmologist here at my eye clinic. So here at my eye clinic, we have atropine drops in different strengths. When you come to the clinic, we will examine you and look at the whole story and see what the situation is, and then with you decide what strength is most appropriate for your child. In the myopia control clinic, we see that the treatment is really of the family, not just of the child. We like to work with the families to help them build a lifestyle that takes them more outdoors, that moves what they do indoors to the outdoors. Because what we found is taking up an outdoor pursuit like tennis or golf doesn't work. It, the interest wears off after a while. But by restructuring your lifestyle so that it becomes more natural to be outdoors, it works in bringing your daylight time up. One child put it very succinctly, when we said to them they needed to increase the amount of time outdoors, she looked at her mom and said, maybe we should build a garden library. And I thought this was a fantastic way of her finding a solution where she would move her love of reading from indoors in her bedroom or living room to outdoors into the garden, thereby increasing her daylight time. Most people don't realize how little light there is indoors. In fact, even I was shocked when I acquired a lux meter. Lux is the measurement of light, and this measures it indoors, outdoors, or whatever. Typically, in an indoor living room, it might be four or 500 lux, but outdoors, it might be a thousand times more or even higher. So the amount of light difference between indoors and outdoors is huge but we don't see it because our eye adjusts and we think it's bright, but our eye knows it isn't. Lux levels below a thousand probably cause myopia. Above a thousand is safe. And a thousand lux is usually a dull overcast winter's day in England. A bright sunny day, it would be a hundred thousand lux. And we're designed to be in living in that range.